Hello everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat, and we're back for more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And I need more money. I need more money. So I'm going to go and search every single one of these for that. Rupees! I need rupees. I need about 12 more rupees. That should be sufficient. Come on. Come on. You can show up. Haha! <laughs> Eleven more rupees. Okay. More grass cutting. Link's lawn service. Call 1 900 Hyrule. Okay, ten more to go. I think I can carry on at this point. Uh, yay, it's twilight, but it's not the bad kind of twilight. Nine more. Oh, wait. Eight more. And, oh, screw you. Was that Minna? Sorry, you're starting to sound like Navi at the moment. You work so hard to get! Yes, I know how to use a weapon, Navi. Thank you. Uh. Spin! And all I got out of that was stuff. Oh! No, 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 no! Don't put it away! Don't put it away! <laughs> oh, that's a bad thing. Anyway, stylish put away. And... Why not? Okay. Oh, hey! Two more rupees. Almost ready. Almost ready. Three more. Two more. Oh, hey, there they are! Come on, come on. You can do it, Link! I have faith in you. 100 rupees. There we go. Now this is what you need. You go over this guy. Huh? So, it's the Ardonian. You seem familiar, but then your clothes seem kind of different, so I got thrown off for a second. Listen, things have been a little rough around here lately, so you should watch your step, okay guy? There are so many monsters now, I kind of got scared and closed out the path to the temple. But, you guy, you want to get back there, huh? You sure do look geared up for it, so here you go. I got small key! Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog, so make sure your lantern's full. You're definitely going to need to use your lantern a lot in there, so bring all you can. Check this out. I have a special one-time offer of 100 rupees for a bottle of lantern oil. How about it, guy? What a bargain. Thanks a lot, guy. Here you go. Bottle of oil. Yes, we've gotten our first bottle of the game. This is awesome. Well, actually, no. This is like the second bottle of the game. Put all kinds of stuff in the bottle once you used all that oil inside, guy. And hey, keep using that lantern so you'll come back and buy more oil, okay? The second bottle of the game, we need both of them. I was wrong about it being the first. My bad. Anyways, go on up here. Unlock the gate. And spin attack for my first real rupee of the game. Because all the rest of them were kind of building towards getting that bottle. And go through the dungeon-y dungeon dungeon. The dungeon in the dungeoniness. Damn keys. Damn ow! Ugh, I hate keys. Keys suck. Ow! That was my own fault. Damn it! Technobaba, go away. Okay. 
I'm starting to hate going through this cave. It used to be so easy, too. Oh, rats. I hate rats. And slice, and that was lame. Ow. Well, at least I got a rupee out of this. Um, dink. Um, dink. And one more dink. Oh, crap. Missed that one. And... Yay! Five rupees. Okay, moving right along. And spin attack. Yep, spin attack is very useful for getting rid of unwanted plants. But not Deku Babas. Deku Babas, you pretty much use your normal sword attacks for. Baron Woods. Now, remember when I said last episode that that fog was going to stick around? Guess what? It's still there. Yup. So how are we going to get through it as regular Link? Obviously I went too far with the sword out and... Oh! Never mind. I had the wrong thing out. Hey! Cheeky monkey. What in the world? Okay, she's beckoning me to follow. Um, Anna Fiber? Okay, whatever. The gimmick to this area is you follow and defend the monkey. If you do not follow the monkey, or get too far ahead of the monkey, you will instantly die thanks to the poisonous fog. All you've got to do is touch the fog and you're dead. The monkey can touch the fog and she'll be just fine. I don't know why. Maybe it's the lantern, because the lantern makes the fog go away. Anyways, stay just slightly ahead of the monkey as you go. She'll go to the next spot, make a swirly, and continue on. Keep your sword out. You're gonna need it. Whoa! There will be a few monsters that want to attack you. Like that keys right there that I just own. And I think there's a Deku Baba too. I don't know, it's been a while. Anyways, you go through here. Remember the keys from last time? Oh, they're still there. Kill them and they just return. Yep, there they are, see? We're in the fog for a second. Go a little bit ahead of him. And she's beckoning me back. Why? Oh. Anyways. Swirl the lantern around and... Oh, fine. Not gonna let me have any fun. Stupid monkey. Wow, this is starting to look like the stuff Okami uses. Yep, Dekubaba. That I defeat with a slingshot. That is awesome. I didn't even know you could do that. And even though you could technically just run through that last bit of fog, she scours it away with the light anyways. Oh well. And then... Why did you stop? Oh, whatever. Catch up to the monkey, she drops your empty lantern that you kinda don't need, and kinda do. So pick your lantern back up. You got lantern! And set your lantern to Y, set your oil to X, and refill. This is why you wanted to get the bottle in the first place other than the fact that the bottle is insanely useful from now on. Switch back to your standard layout for this area, and continue on through. Loading. Oh, hey, it's the bridge section from before. Ow. That teach me to roll with my sword not out. And another rupee. And off I go. Is there another one? Another? 
No? No? Okay, whatever. Now, I could go and get more lantern oil, or maybe some health potions, but... Yeah, nah. Oh, what's this golden thing over here? It's a wolf! is bright. Oh, definitely need to turn the brightness down for next one. Oh, this is hurting. Stolfos alert. Defeat this die. Just got on. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. You must use your courage to seek power, and find it you must. Only then will you become the hero for whom this world despairs. If you do not find true courage, and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. First hidden skill, the ending blow. This is actually required to f finish the game. Enemies filled with energy will quickly recover time, blah blah blah, blah blah, I'm a dead man, blah blah blah. An enemy lies collapsed on the ground, stunned, L targets, and press A. When you do that, blah blah blah, I'm a dead man, blah. <laughs> yeah, I went through that way too fast. Anyways, smack him around until he finally goes on his back. Hey! Into his crotch. Ow! And there you go. Hmm, that was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opponent. Finish with A. First in skill, the ending blow has been passed on. Awesome! First, mandatory skill, the ending blow. Still six hidden skills for you to learn. Those are only for those who carry the blood of the hero. The only one who's... Blah, 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 blah. I'm a dead man. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh-huh. Sound of the wind. That's important. Sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember those words. Farewell. <laughs> Back to Farron Woods. After Link's little acid trip. Moving along. There's two monsters. Kill the Buckman. Kill the Bones. And this area is now free and clear. Pick up five rupees. And burn it. This is one of the few places where the lantern is actually necessary. Actually, unlike a lot of... Oh, freaking piece. Shut up. You interrupt us. Unlike a lot of the uh, previous Legend of oh, Got Lost, unlike a lot of the previous Legend of Zelda games, this one actually lets you use a lot of your items throughout the game, which is nice. In fact, a lot of dungeons, including the Forest Temple, require you to use multiple items throughout their <laughs> entire way. <laughs> Which is really, really nice. I think they repeated this in Wind Waker, or they started it in Wind Waker. And... Ow. Dork. I'll teach you from messing with me. While I was distracted. Take care of these spiders. Maybe. Why are there spiders there? Anyways. Get rid 
of those. Go over here. And spin attack. This will instantly destroy any that you can actually reach. Any of those little um, cages. Don't you think we will? That she is. That's disgusting, Midna. That's truly disgusting. Uh -oh. Anyways, follow the monkey. Go through the door. And your first encounter with the Skelta. Enormous size. Seen a skeleton that big. Which deserves a stylish and epic sword swing of ending. Most people ignore that. I don't see why. It is a treasure chest. You should get it. And it does let you know to be aware of your surroundings in these dungeons. Red Rupee! Anyways... Go back up here. See that treasure chest? You're gonna want to get it. But you can't get it right now. And... Had nothing. Get the blue, get the blue, yay! What is it, Midna? Yes, yes it is. Oh, you bitch! Uh, anyways, light the braziers. You know, just like in. What was it? Episode 2? Anyways, first time you got the lantern. Light the braziers. Grab the treasure chest before you go anywhere. Why? Because this gives you a mandatory item on your first dungeon map. Remember how hard these were to get in Ocarina of Time? Not anymore. Link, you can go through a door. I have faith in you. You can do it. Oh, look, a convenient bridge. We should be able to get to the mid boss in no time this way. What? Wait. Whoa. What's going on here? That doesn't look good. Bank your butt at me? You pay for that. For I'm Link, the hero of time. Okay. What? What? Um. Apparently. Um. That was kind of the plan. Thank you for restating the obvious. Then. Anyways. Oh, crap. No, she doesn't want me to go that way. She wants me to go the other way. Because the monkeys lead you by the freaking nose. And off we go. Go to your left first. Get the bomb beetle. Pick him up. Over here and run like hell. You know, I have no idea why nature would create a creature that self destructs, but then again, I play Minecraft. Too. And what the hell? It's a mutant chicken person thing. What? The hell are you? Are are you a person? Are you a chicken? Well, cool. I guess that's her name. Uh, are those feathers or boobs? What the hell? 
know. I don't understand. <laughs> Pleasant. Oku is a nice handy little item. You can warp out of a dungeon anytime you want to restock. You really shouldn't need to ever. Oh look, spider. Oh look, dead spider. That was easy. Go over here, she'll beckon you towards a locked door that you don't have a key for. Crap. No idea what Blink was looking at over there. Oh well. Open the door. And now you're on the right side of the map. Just go on forward. Ignore the flying things. They're annoying, but you don't really need to get involved with them. And on your left is... You got a key? Yep. You got a small key, which will be necessary for that locked door that you just passed. <sighs> Starter dungeons. Well, at least this isn't like D&D where you need an entire party to raid this thing. You can do it with just one person and his monkey cohorts. Anyways, unlock the door. And for some reason, Link can't figure out how to get the key back out of the lock. So you need to find another key eventually. Okay, another cage with a monkey in it. So I cut scene across the bridge, which breaks. Why couldn't I just run across it and have it break in in game? Before I handle the monkey, go over here and get this chest. That I know it was here with ten rupees in it because I've played the living crud out of this game. And give Link brain damage or brain damage, and it frees the monkey. Link's IQ has gone down by 10 points, but the monkey's free. Face more Boca Blims. And... Oh no, you don't... You don't spank my monkey. You do not. Anyways. Go away with the monkeys! Go away! Back the way you came. You got more monkeys to rescue. Hup. Hup. And hup. And over. It's the amazing flying linkies. Moving along. While I'm singing the song. Ow. Stupid Deku Baba. Moving on up, and open the door. Now, you want to go the other side. So, first monkey, and then second monkey, and off you go. Burn it. Burn it all. <laughs> Oh, these are new Deku Rabas. They can move independently once you chop off their main part. Main stem chopped off, they will come after you. And there's bomb book here, so that means stuff needs to blow up. You get bombs this early in the game, which is awesome. Plant snatches it up and instantly has heartburn. Epic heartburn. We're not done with the bomb bug. The bomb bug's not done with us either, apparently. Damn it. Anyways, move on. Throw! Ow! Don't throw it like that, though. 
don't do that. That was kinda on the stupid side. Anyways, get over here, throw! Whew. And you want to go through here first. Some people prefer the opposite direction, but I want to go through here first. Okay, way the hell over there is a another monkey behind bars. And he needs a key to get out. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so... Oh, look, a chest over to your right. Drop on down. Get one brain damage. Get a chest. That's five more IQ points. Um, other side, the link. There we go. And it's got a key in it. If you don't see that chest when you first go through, you will spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to get to that key. Now, there is something in there that I'll get later. Probably much later. I believe it's a heart piece. Anyways. Get all those. Form a bridge. Well, staircase, actually. For giants, apparently. Get on up here. And remember the spider? Because there it is! Damn it. Ah, and spin attack works. Ha <laughs> Stab any goodness. Open the lock. Get the key. Take the monkey. Ignore these little worms that keep popping up. And back up the stairs. Could have gone down the stairs, but... I take the long way. Okay, over here, there's going to be more spiders. Spider goodness. Can help target them. Jump over, monkey just drops on down. I love their pathfinding. <laughs> Here. And it's a mini mini boss. A really mini boss. This is actually practice for the upcoming boss fight. He's got a Deku Baba head and the digestion stomach. Haha! <laughs> How about you? We're an owl! Haha! <laughs> I have you again! And I'm going to do something completely useless. Ow! That hurt! Don't do that. Haha! <laughs> That's what you should do. What the hell? Hit it, apparently. Um, ba -da -ba -da. Duck and dodge, dodge and weave, and I got it. Now it's a normal... thing. As normal as those things ever get, at least. Oh look, there's a bomb bug. Bomb beetle! I know what to do with you. Apparently I don't. Crap. Get the next bomb beetle. I don't know why they have that suicide reflex. Anyways, it's swallowed it up and... Super indigestion. Puh. This is the only key in the game that sparkles silver. What is it, Edward's key? Guess where it's used? Right over here. Unlike, um, my much older Let's Play of Link to the Past that I kind of failed out on, you can't hoard out keys and synchronized monkey butts! You can't hoard keys and save them for later. 
over here and drop it. There was a reason for that. That reason is right there. Another doom plant. That you've just destroyed. And drop. Why is there a bug behind the doom plant? Right. Another piece of heart, though. Three more. Get a new heart. Yeah. Oh, that sucker. Oy. So now we have even more monkeys. We have four monkeys. And they want me to go with them. So off we go. Yay. Windy door. On. Oh, the monkeys are making a monkey chain. Yay. Yay for monkey chains. And hup. And hup. Oh, crap. That was not the hup. That was not the hup I was looking for. Damn. And let's try that again. Hup. 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 And yes! I made it! No one saw that death. Really. Didn't happen. No one saw it? That means it didn't happen. Those are the rules. In we go and... Uh oh! Gate is barred. That means it's mini-boss time. He's got a dungeon toy. Cut off some of those evil red dangubabas. They can move on their own. Spink the butt! I guess we know what we need to do with this one, Mickey. That's right. It's time. Him off his perch, and what are we gonna do with him? We're going to spank the monkey. That's right. In, in video game monkey spanking. Bet you never thought you'd see that outside of Grand Theft Auto. Spank the monkey again. Spank him for justice. That had to hurt. And one dead bug. Please don't spank me again. I'll be good. I'll be good. <sighs> victory. Sweet, sweet victory. And, hey, the dungeon toy! I am the Fairy of the Winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and now I have my true power back. Please, take it with you. Use it to aid your quest, and may both my... Uh, I'm a fairy, blah blah blah, I'm a fairy. Yeah, yeah, meta information, meta information. Got the Gale Boomerang! Yay! And that fairy will never talk to you ever again. Ever. What is you? Yeah, pretty Hi. much. Okay. To use my... <sighs> Anyways, this is Man in the Black Hat. We'll see you next time for more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. <sighs> Later. <laughs>